So, welcome to feature 687 on the Houston LeCompte site. This is one of our well features here. You can see, looking at the dirt, forms a big circle, and there's three of these. Could turn out to be additional wells, or perhaps a privy or outhouse that's been filled in. So you can see that uh, the site looks a lot different than the last time I was on video, at least. And this is a great example of what we did. We've removed the entire plow zone topsoil, which has been churned up by disking and plowing for ages. <clears throat> and in fact, if you look at this feature, you can see these linear marks to be clearer. To be clearer, if we uh, would uh, wet this down, you can see all of the colors in the soil a little bit better. And you can see where plows have dragged clay into here and dragged some of this feature fill towards the outside. So we removed all of the plow zone so that we could see all of these features and map them in with a total station, which will let us map everything digitally and get a nice top-down view so that it's easier to connect the dots and see which features like posts line up to form fence lines and edges of houses. But this is what I've been working on all day, and as you can see, it's going to be very deep once we're finished. And this well, at some point, was filled in with all the debris from the destruction of one of the houses here at the Houston LeCompte site. And that's a pretty common thing in archaeology to find them this way, because what would happen is when a house uh, burns down or gets left for a long time and starts to fall apart on its own, new residents would come in and to clear away the old house back before the days of city landfills and such. These wells were just open, which formed a hazard for children, and so they would just dump everything that they could find into the well. It both clears the land for the construction of a new house and fills the safety hazard. So they're basically killing two birds with one stone. And because of doing that, these often turn out to be a wealth of artifacts for archaeologists. We've found little bits of clothing in here, and you can see some of these remaining buttons. Haven't analyzed them too much. Looks like shell, possibly. A tag that reads, Swift's Golden West Fatted Fowl which so far I have no idea what it is. We'll look this up on the internet. Could be a tag from maybe packaged turkey or chicken, and we can find when the Swift's company was around. It'll help us to date the site. And also, someone's silver ring that we found in here. We've actually found a fair amount of jewelry on the site. This was found somewhere in here. And earlier when we were screening, we found a cut glass stone. So this was probably costume jewelry, although made of silver, maybe a little bit fancier. And hopefully to match the two up and maybe be able to reconstruct it a little bit better. But that kind of brings you up to date on the site. We've, again, cleared the plow zone. We're moving to excavating all these features like our wells our cellar, post holes, and we'll be screening all this dirt with the help of volunteers.